Hello and welcome to another episode of Lisp Game Engine Devlog. So today uh, is the week of March 4th of 2024. And yeah, what have I done this week? So first off, I started on Monday by uh, like looking at the SBCL uh, release notes, so, and SBCL being still bank Common Lisp, the most prominent open source Common Lisp compiler. And uh, yeah, I've figured that I missed a new release. They actually do a new release every month with a plethora of tiny improvements. Uh, so yeah, uh, there's been a new release, and the thing is that I main maintain a build of SBCL. First of all, the build of SBCL for Windows 7, the actual last version of Windows that hasn't went to full shit. Uh, so yeah, I uh, actually maintain the automated build for that, so I had to bump the version, and voila, you can enjoy the new version 2.4.2 of SBCL, for, uh, which is yeah compatible with Windows 7. So apart from that, I also man maintain the Docker images. It's called Docker Lisp Game Dev, and as you can imagine, it allows you to build your game dev related uh, programs written in Lisp. So here I also bumped a version and yeah, you can download this um, Docker image and use it in your projects. I actually use this Docker image in my uh, template, uh, in my template for the um, a game in Common Lisp, so for, as usual, all the links below in the video description. So yeah, you can actually download this Docker image and use it. And actually, there is two images here. So first of all, is the usual one to build the Linux uh, bin binary, and the second one is tagged Windows, and it actually contains the Vine uh, emulator, uh, and then it also contains the um, all of this stuff uh, built for Windows, like um, MinGV compiler and all of that stuff. So the thing is, you can still run it in Linux, right? It is the Linux image. But then uh, by using it, you can actually produce binaries for Windows. So the good thing is you can make a Windows binary while never touching this stinky, terrible OS, uh, which is called Windows. Uh, so yeah, isn't that great? Um, and then, yeah, uh, I've updated that as well, so you can uh, use it with the latest version of SBCL. Um, okay, so that all was on Monday, and then uh, in the whole week I was working on the second part of my tutorial, so here's the first part, I've already shown that here. Um, so yeah, uh, I was working on the second part, not a lot of progress here, but yeah, I actually have to complete it and release it on March and probably early April. Uh, so yeah, I would be working on that uh, further. Uh, and then, uh, by the end of the week, I've also added some changes to my ECS library. So actually, in the comments uh, on Reddit uh, for this um, post, for this um, tutorial, uh, some person suggested that I probably should include the warnings when uh, they're, uh, like when using ECS library and when uh, for some values that are being stored in ECS, uh, there is a boxing uh, that is storing those values in some kind of, you know, boxes, like with indirect pointers. Uh, so this situ situation will actually lead to like lower performance than using the uh, like primitive types without uh, boxing. Uh, so yeah, I actually went ahead with that suggestion and added warnings. So when there would be a possible uh, like performance degradation in your code using ECS library, is CL fast ECS, uh, you will actually see a style warning. So I've added that, then I fixed the failing CI. There was some bit rot happening there. Um, and yeah, this new version is in Lucky Lambda uh, quickly repository. So again, all, all the links down below in video description. Uh, so you can uh, like, again, add with this comment, the this distribution to your common Lisp 
preferably still bank common lisp and yeah you can use that so let me actually quickly show you how that works so i've added this bit in the implementation of the library so you can actually load yeah let me just quick load the uh, CL fast is yes. Let's do that. CL fast is yes. Here we go. And then if you do some dev component, like let's say we do yeah, you see dev component. Let's say we call it test. Uh, yeah, sure, no test. Uh, and then we have some field, some slot of that component, right? Let's call it x, whatever. And then its default value is nil. And then let's say its type is for instance, a list. So this is exactly the situation where performance wouldn't be great because the whole idea of ECS is that you like uh, iterate uh, all of your uh, components, all of your like entities with that component and you iterate those uh, like relying on the CPU cache. You rely on those values being like in the cache, right? Because of the big cache lines. But using the list, list is actually a pointer, right? It is a pointer to the head of the list and then it contains the pointer to another node in the list, to another element, and then the pointer to another, etc. until the nil, which is the end of the list, right? So this is not exactly a very uh, CPU cache friendly and yeah, using that would degrade performance. So now if you actually you know, try to implement that component, you see these warnings that X values will be boxed and you should consider using separate entities instead. Uh, so yeah, there are different warnings for different types because for non-primitive types which are stored um, like a boxes, uh, like in the box boxed away, uh, I just displayed this warning. But if you use some kind of list or array, again, it does not m make a lot of sense because you can actually translate that to separate entities having those uh, elements which should be in list, right? So like the whole ECS system in a sense is a big list or array. Right, so yeah, it actually tells you to use separate entities for the elements of this list instead, right? And also for hash tables, it suggests that you should use uh, like index feature because I've implemented that in this library as well. And this index is basically a hash table, it is just what it is. Um, so yeah, that's that. That is basically all that I've done this week. So the next week I would be again working on the uh, second part of the tutorial and yeah, hopefully it would be ready by the end of the March or yeah, early April. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's all from me for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you want more, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, and yeah, uh, have a nice week and bye.